Hi everyone, um, so this is a set of nails I've done, my lady had acrylics on and I have soaked off and filed down and removed, which is, if you can see any dust or anything under my nails, that's what that is from. Um, I am, I have prepped the nails, so I've dehydrated with my Nail Pure Plus, I then come in with my CJP Acid Primer and then I'm coming in with my Amaze Base from Megamix, which is my gel polish system. So I'm applying that base and as you can see I'm really scrubbing it into the nail there making sure that um, that base coat really sticks to those natural nails. Make sure I'm capping the free edge and then I'm curing that for 30 seconds. And then coming in with Snow Idea which is the Megamix White Gel Polish. And I'm just going to do a base here. I'm going to throw it all over the cuticles because you know I'm that much of a professional. That's how I work. <laughs> you can tell I don't do gel polish very often. My lady's about to have a baby and they're on a bit of a budget. So she's having her nails off um, and just having some gel polish on over Christmas. And then she's going au natural. So once that's cured for 30 seconds, I'm using one of my pigment brushes in one of the, the tighter um, bristles. Um, pressing it in to the gel polish tacky layer and then kind of brushing off any excess, making sure the um, tip is, the free edge is capped nicely. Then coming in with my Mega Mix, which is, um, I've explained before, slightly thicker, almost like a soft builder gel in a bottle. Curing that for 30 seconds and then I'm coming in with my Amaze Glaze, which is the top coat. Applying that. And then I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds LED as well. And when that full set is complete, I'm going to come in with my NSI um, cleanse. And I'm going to get rid of that tacky layer, get right in, down in those cuticles, make sure I've got rid of any excess pigment. And remember, whenever you use a pigment on your clients, make sure that before you take your pictures, I do this anyway, but before I take pictures, my ladies all wash their hands. So I apply cuticle oil and then they give their hands a good wash. And I've got nail brushes so they can really scrub away any dust underneath the free edge and everything like that. Um, so you make sure you haven't got any excess pigment. And now I'm coming in and I'm doing a little sand design. Now when you're doing this kind of design, um, here I'm using my crystal nails Barbara brush and Crystal Nails Royal Gel. Uh, Royal Gel is a tack free design gel so you can use whatever design gel you like as long as it is tack free. Now make sure that you're you're painting it on, you're not trying to get a 3D effect, you're just wanting to paint it on. I see a lot of nails this time of year doing this kind of artwork. Um, it's really nice and simple but you have to paint it on very thinly. You just want that tack free layer so that the um, you want the sticky gel that the glitter can stick into but not add loads of bulk because obviously you don't want an, a fat looking cuticle area so I've just created like a little icicle frosty design there and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of the Christmas super fine sleigh bells over that design. So I'm picking up, scooping it on, making sure I don't touch it, and just tap gently on your lady's finger. Cure that for 60 seconds, then I'm using my little mini brush just to dust off the excess. Remember to put a lid on your royal gel when you do that. I always forget and I always end up with glitter in my gel. <laughs> and now I'm going to do a little icicle design. So I'm using my dotting tool, creating my centre point, and then I'm doing two dots working away creating a line and now I'm going to create a cross so I do two dots going out the other way and then the other way that won't fit in <laughs> and then I'm going to do another cross going up and down from that design this is just a nice easy way to do a little snowflake design now I'm going to use my long O, long zero, and I'm just going to get a tiny bit of royal gel on the tip. This isn't to add any product, it's just to help it glide through the existing product. I'm going to start on that centre dot and I'm just going to go out working through each dot. So you end up with a nice snowflake design and you can then 
go out from the dots and create a spikier design if you want but I quite like this nice simple design you've got limited space as well it's a nice easy design to do okay and I'm going to do the exact same I'm just going to sprinkle some of that super fine on top tap off the excess for 60 seconds and then brush off the excess so there you go guys just a very quick and easy gel polish design on natural nails letting them cool down pop them on a bit of cuticle oil now it's useless and i forgot to take pictures so that's it guys i hope you've enjoyed any questions comments requests just pop them below thanks for tuning in bye